Hi beautiful, I'm at Lowe's and I'm gonna go in and go plant shopping. It's 65 degrees and I'm wearing this like really awkward sweater. Don't know why, I'm in Florida. But the weather is nice, it is kind of chilly for me. But I'm gonna go in there really quick and I'll show you if I got anything. All right, so the first thing I see, it looks like they have the string of bananas, I think these are. So pretty. We got the flapjacks here, but it doesn't have a price. It's $12.98. That's a big pot for the jade. Those look so perfect. I love how everything is so uniform. That's so pretty. We got a golden barrel here. Look at that. I've been looking for the string of pearls. They had a really nice basket with long, long strings of pearls. I never picked, or I picked it up and I didn't buy it, and now I regret it. These are so cute with the little bird cage. It takes years for cacti to get that big. It's so fascinating. It's crazy. They do have some beautiful um, planter pots, but I do want to try to thrift them. 
because it's a little more sustainable and since I am going to be having a lot of plants, I think it's better if I try to thrift them and see what I find. But I like these saucers, they're really cute. So they have these Monstera Stanleyana Albo Variegata. And I believe these used to be hard to find before, I think. I don't know, but they're beautiful. Or the foliage is really pretty. And then we have these beautiful begonias. I think they're begonias. I'm not sure what they're called. So I just found the name there. Begonia maculatas. And they have a Baltic blue pothos. Look at this beautiful Monstera Cobra. I was looking at the leaf on this. I love how waxy and shiny it is. It's so beautiful. I feel like I should be taking this home and I'm not. <laughs> Do you guys know which Skindapsis this is or Simdapsis? I don't know if it's the Silverian or the Exotica. I think the Exotica has more silver on it. I'm not sure. I am so tempted to get this. Pretty. This is a heartbeat rhododendron. It's very pretty in this hanging basket. We have a red maranta. These are beautiful. Rhododendron Brazil. These are Poco's pearls and jade. And I believe that's a Marble Queen Pothos, Neon Pothos, and a Golden Pothos. And it's a really pretty Calathea, but I'm not sure the, what kind. I'm assuming it's like a red or I don't know. Can't think of it off the top of my head. I've seen them, but. It. I know it's a different variety of Maranta. I have a Skindaxis or Syndaxis. And here is a rubber plant. Or not, or not a rubber plant, but I think this is the Ruby Ficus. So, really pretty. What's, what's this? This is beautiful. It looks like a kind of philodendron, but I'm not sure what kind. I think. That is beautiful. smaller leaves it's the silverian and if the leaves are bigger it's the exotica So I got this beauty. My husband put the little hook on up there and I just hung it right here in the middle and she's beautiful. She is the Hoya Crimson Princess. They had two there and I picked up one and then I showed you guys the other one on the video. Did some um, insecticidal soap. Then I put some systemic granules in the soil and treated it, washed the leaves off and everything. I got this at a different Lowe's from where we live, or there's two different Lowe's where we live. And I got this Skindapsis, I believe this is the Exotica. 
and I just treated her. I put some insecticidal soap. This is the one that I use. I just sprayed her and then gave her some water because um, she was really dry, like her leaves were curled up and she's already perking up, which is nice. And this is the one I picked. My husband picked, he really likes the, um, the dragon scale alocasias or the, you know, like the dragon looking ones. So I found this one at the same Lowe's. The Skindapsons came in this really cute hanging pot. And then the alocasia came in this really cute pot. All right, so I ended up getting this Ikea cabinet or shelf. It is the Vistio, I think, I'm pretty sure, but um, my husband drove me down to Orlando and we picked it up. I also got grow lights for both cabinets. Plants look really happy there and I hope it works out. This was my um, propagated pothos that I showed in the first plant video. Um, I did do a lot of repotting because I mixed my own uh, soil mix. I also got this, these two recently, these cacti. I think this is a blue cactus maybe. I don't know. I, I'm not really um, sure. They have the correct or the proper name right here. Hold on. This is the, this is that. <laughs> and, and then these are, my daughter picked this one out. She liked this one a lot. And this is that. It's not, why is it not? Okay, there you go. And so we thought those were really cute. So I picked this one and she picked that one. And then this was one that I saved from that local plant shop I had talked about. And it grew a new leaf and it's thriving. So it looks beautiful. And then I repotted this, the silver dragon. Look how beautiful this last leaf came out. And um, they, it had some little pups, so I separated them. And it got a new leaf. This is a new leaf. And it is thriving. And then this is my white wizard, which got a new, wait, that's not the new, I think this is the new leaf. Um, this is the one that it had, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it is getting, growing another new leaf right there. Oh, that was too close. And then this is my Monstera tie, and I also repotted it. I tried to make sure that it got acclimated first, because I was worried, but it is growing a new leaf right there. So, so far so good. With that, I'm trying to salvage my, <laughs> I don't know what was going on with that, but I ended up um, repotting it to see if I could save it because all the leaves on the bottom were dying, were turning brown and just coming off. So I gave it a little bit more of an airy mix. So I don't know if it had root rot or what happened, but I'm trying to save it. And I did get some corms from the alocasia, from the silver dragon and the pink dragon, which here she is. She's beautiful and thriving. She does have, I don't know if it had like spider mites before, but um, I cleaned her up real good and repotted her. And this was the most recent leaf. I guess that's my haul. This is what I've gotten so far since the last time I did the plant video, but she is a stunner. <laughs> she's beautiful my aloe is struggling i think i messed around with it a little bit too much so it's only got those three left and it just looks like it's so i don't know i'm just you know a beginner I'm trying to learn do research and then obviously this the, was that arrangement that i showed that my husband gave me i put it here so it can get light because where it was at wasn't getting enough light and that's it so I just want to share that with you. Please leave your comments down below and, you know, just any helpful feedback would be great, especially for the ficus. So the only reason I have that plastic on there now is because I propagated it. And so I chopped her that's down there. So I'm going to see if I get any growth from the node down there. 
and then um, I'm just trapping moisture in there so that it can grow roots hopefully I don't know I saw it on a video and I don't know if I'm doing it right so if you guys have any helpful tips let me know